Hi, community. Hi, community. How are you doing? This is Spirit Guide. Um, sorry, I was just mid-laugh when I was about to put the video on. Um, you know, community dog is up here being doing community dog things, you know. And <laughs> she's up here, like, just acting silly because I don't have her TV show on. I don't have Coco Melon on or I don't have the dog TV one on. So she's just up here being a two-year-old on the bed because and she's not supposed to be up there because her bed her bed is right next to mine but she for some reason and she only does it when i'm on camera that's the only time she does that well I, you saw the short she did it one other time but she snuck up on the bed and you saw in the short she wasn't even looking at me she was trying to pretend she was invisible everybody has beds here but for some reason they just want to jump on mine all the time but anyway so that's why i was laughing Okay, so this video is now for pile two. Pile two, you are the amethyst, right? Amethyst. And your image is a ladybug. That's kind of, it's, this is from the Dollar Tree. So it was like that because I'm working on a project. I had it stuck to something and I didn't like it. So I pulled it off. Okay, and I might do a video on me assembling my project. I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. Um, I do have another channel starting soon. Um, that channel is going to start, is going to launch probably September, 2023. Okay. So you'll get to see the project I've been working on. Um, so I just do videos over there and it's more of an in-depth into my life. Okay. So you get to see, I think it'll be interesting to see what's going on. Okay. All right. So, um, the chakra that was here is grounding. Okay, and this is also Earth, um, Earth Star, which is under your feet. Okay, so it's grounding. All right. So with the chakra cards, what I did was I did not choose them um, by looking at them. I just shuffled them, <laughs> and whatever came out is, of course, divinely guided. So it seems like we're working on Earth Star here. So this is the second video. An earth star and just take a moment to appreciate the beauty of this card look at that so those are roots from a tree and they are on top of the ground but they're all also on the, the surface of the ground and then they also go under the ground okay so someone here if this is your group and this is the one you chose you are and then don't forget your image was a ladybug right look at how that works um, so you're, you're someone who is looking to be grounded because you're not fully under the ground yet. Um, and you're also someone who is seeking balance and seeking stability, right? Really you're seeking stability, not saying you don't have stability, but it's saying that you're seeking permanent stability. Okay. All right. May I have an energy on this individual who is in grounding? Okay. Um, the characteristic I'm getting from this person who is from you in the community who chose this is you are a person that likes to remain focused on things. You like to remain focused. You're not the life of the party. You're not the social butterfly. You're not nurturing, but you, what you are is stable. You like to be stable. You're the one of your family that everyone looks to for advice because you are financially stable and you are emotionally stable, okay? But I'm getting with this reading intuitively that we're gonna talk about your social life, okay? And this came out again, joy, okay? So yes, we're talking about your social life, okay? So that's one characteristic. Um, it doesn't have to be you. You could be watching this for someone. And if you are, the characteristics I'm explaining go to that person, okay? All right. Is there another characteristic that we can associate with this energy, with this permanent stable energy, financially stable energy, who's now looking to stabilize their social life? And when I say stabilize your social life, I'm getting marriage, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. I say, when I talk about uh, stabling your life, I'm talking about marriage. And look at the card that flew out. A, a granted wish. The date tree. See, I didn't even know that tree exists. A granted wish. You want to get married. Okay. There's your social life. You want to get married. 
It says enlightenment discovered through knowledge will free you from doubt. Okay. So either you want to, well, you definitely want to get married, but you might be engaged. <laughs> Spirit is all through this reading. Look, growth. Okay. The sweet chestnut tree growth, right? So you have a granted wish and then you have growth. Okay. Uh, intuitively from the growth card, I'm getting that you are, you're afraid. You're afraid of losing your stability, losing your permanency, losing who you are in this process. Okay. Um, it's not going to happen. You're not going to lose you. Um, will you lose you financially? Yeah, you will, but you're going to gain financially. You have to lose in this process because it's, this is talking about marriage. This is specifically talking about marriage, talking even engagement. If you, I would say engagement, but a granted wish is here. So it's already happened, right? It's already happened. You're just afraid. So then, yeah, it could be um, fiance slash wedding, you know? So engaged and married, but that's what we're talking about here. That's what we're talking about. We also could be talking about people living with each other. Um, but I, I really doubt that in this reading, I'm not getting that. I'm getting more permanent, more stability. Okay. <laughs> it's marriage. Look, it says not <laughs> relationship. So we're talking about a permanent relationship here. You're wanting, <laughs> I, I cannot make this up. You're, you're wanting a relationship. You're wanting permanency, right? Remember they say tie the knot is marriage. That's what you want. That's where you're going. That's where this is going to end up. Um, I'm getting the person watching this. You are thinking about getting married. These cards keep flying. You are thinking about getting married. So you might have going to propose to someone. If you've not been proposed to, but you're, or if you're the one that's thinking of proposing, you're going to do it. It'll happen in the next eight weeks. I'm seeing the number eight, okay? In the next eight weeks, okay? Um, I'm not getting eight months. I'm getting it soon, eight weeks. So you're thinking about proposing and it's coming up, okay? If you're the one that's getting proposed to, you don't know you're being proposed to yet. You want to be proposed to. You don't know it's happening, okay? So if you're watching this and you're the one that's getting proposed to, it will be in the next eight months, okay? If you're the one watching who wants to propose, it's eight weeks, okay? Eight weeks, eight days. It's quick. It's coming in quick because you, you're tired of waiting. You're tired of waiting. If you're, you're the one proposing, you're tired of waiting. You want to move forward with this, right? Uh, you want the joy that you feel to be in, um, in a relationship. But these are all relationships up here. So we have a fiance, we have a married couple. There's a married couple up here. Of course, with not in relationships, there is a married couple up here. And then, you know, I don't see anyone dating though. I don't see dating here, okay? Well, congratulations either way, okay? Congratulations. All right, is there one more energy? I don't feel there might be. Uh, is there one more energy on this a characteristic of who this reading is directly for? So the stability is here. It's here. It's just that you have to trust it's here. I feel like intuitively you're not trusting it's here. You are like, you're like counting dollars and, and trying to figure out where everybody money is going. That's what you're doing. You're trying to get assurance. You can't get assurance. You have to just step out on faith. Okay. All right. And it says recycle or recover. So this might be a returned relationship. It says, hello again, right? So this might be a returned relationship. And if it is a return relationship, it is ending in a marriage, okay? It's ending in a marriage. There will, if it's a returning relationship, it's someone from your past, there will not be a, an engagement period. I hear you've been engaged to this person already. They're not gonna engage you again. They're gonna marry you. And it's gonna be very, very quick. And you're gonna think, oh my gosh, what did I just do? Did I lose my stability, my permanency? No, you did not. You did not lose your permanency or your stability. You gained it, okay? All right, so congrats, congrats. Okay, may I please have a card on joy? What what do we have to tell the community about the joy they feel? Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. 
it's the same card <laughs> follow your intuition okay this person is coming back right they're coming back and if that is there's two different scenarios out here this person it, it is a relationship that is returning to you again and you have recovered from it already. You've moved on from it. But this person is coming back as a granted wish to you. So they're coming back. They're a divine. They're sent by divine. They're coming back. And when they come back, it will be a marriage. Maybe that's why I said eight weeks. Because when this person, you've already, you've already entered some kind of permanency with this person. Okay. So it's not like a person coming back to you. You don't know why they're here. You know why they're here. Okay, so there's going to be a marriage, okay, if that's the case. Um, if you are already in the process of being married, fiance or already married, newly married, is definitely the reading is about relationships, right? Tying the knot, there will be a marriage here. You're just worried about losing yourself. You're worried about how this relationship's going to grow. How is it going to how is it going to focus? You're counting people money. You're trying to say I'm coming into the marriage with $80,000. You're coming in with 20,000. Let's make sure we know, don't, mm -mm. when you join, I would suggest you don't do that. When you join, you're going to join. You have to not, you have to tie into one. All right. So, um, yeah, but if, if you, if this is your situation and you know, that's how your personality is not saying it's negative. I won't, I almost want to say you're like an accountant or something. It's like part of who you are. You're not doing it to be nasty, okay? Um, and if that is not under control, unfortunately, a disruption will hit. That's exactly what's going to happen. A disruption will hit if you don't either address the issue. This is only for the person who's getting married or who is married, rather. If you're, because you're having issues with money, um, you're looking at stability and permanency, but you're concerned because you have to share money. Um, approach it however you're going to approach it, but understand this is a, for you, for the person watching, I'm talking to who's married, this is a very ABC process, right? It's business for you. It's just, look, here's our accounts. You know, we have one account that's in the negative. We have two others that are not, you know, I don't think the combining money is going to work. You know, let's flip one of the accounts into this and blah, 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 blah. Right. That's you. I mean, I'm guessing you're an accountant. You're someone who does this for a living or you like money. You like the numbers, your partner, your husband, your wife is not that way. And it, if you approach it a certain way, it may cause a disruption. Okay. So just be careful with how you approach the money issues. Let me get one more energy on that one. Um, can you give me more energy on this money issue? Um, that's coming up and this person whoever this is for, who's watching it, um, is not obsessed. I'm not going to say you're obsessed, but it's, it's just on your mind a lot. Okay. Um, yeah. So when you approach it a certain way, you're going to have success. Okay. So this is almost telling me like there is going to be a disruption. Like it doesn't matter how you approach it. It's going to rock the boat, but in the end, there's going to be a, um, a success. Okay. So be careful, be careful. Okay. But speak your mind. You have to do it. It's been on your mind for a while. Okay. So speak it, you know, marriages are, are partnerships. Okay. Uh, good luck. All right. So can I please have a, <laughs> can I please have a moonology blessing on this please? Moonology blessing on the individual who's watching this, who wants to be stable, permanent, stable, the fiance or the wife, husband, Okay, this that's who's up here. But whichever couple you are, right? This represents the couples. Use your intuition. Okay. You have a beautiful beautiful union. Joy is out here. Okay. Look at that. Beautiful. Confidence is your is your key to success. Okay? So in either scenario, whatever you're doing, approach it with confidence. You'll be fine. You'll be absolutely fine. All right, take a moment, look at your card. While I have my checkers. <laughs> mm, that's good. All right. Thank you so much. Next video, last pile's coming up.